on the graph you can see in front of you, there's a green triangle and it's five squares across and five squares up. We're interested in, in the slope or the gradient of the third side, the sloping side. And there's a simple way to describe that gradient. It's just the number of squares up divided by the number of squares across. So in this case, the gradient of that triangle is 5 divided by 5, which is 1. Now I've drawn a line going along that side of the triangle. And that whole line has a gradient of 1, because uh, every section of a straight line has the same gradient. And that small section that we can see has a gradient of 1, and so the whole straight line has a gradient of 1. And we can use this green triangle to show that we could calculate the gradient in several different ways. For instance, if I put the triangle like this, 3 divided by 3 would give me the same gradient, 1. A much bigger triangle, 15 divided by 15 still gives me 1. 6 divided by 6, or even if I measure it on the other side, the up is the 8, the across is 8, 8 divided by 8 is 1. Now here's a different straight line. Let's see what its gradient is. Well, here's our little triangle. Let's position this on the line we're trying to measure. But it's important that we choose whole number points. Points were both coordinates. The x and the y coordinates are both whole numbers. Now in this we can see that as you go across, you go up rather more. As you go across 5, you go up 10. Now, up divided by across, in this case, is 10 divided by 5, which is 2. So that straight line and the long side of the triangle have a gradient of 2. And once again, wherever we measure it, providing we're putting our two points on whole number junctions on the graph, we're going to get a gradient of 2, because the up divided by the across is going to be 2. Even if we look at a very small triangle, just here for instance, as we go across 1, we go up 2. 2 divided by 1 is 2. Here there's been drawn another straight line. Let's have a look and see if we can work out what its gradient is. Let's move our triangle across and putting it on whole number junction points, we should be able to construct a triangle and the gradient will be got by taking the up distance, this case 3, and dividing it by the across distance 6. 3 sixths is 1 half. So that has a gradient of 1 half. And once again, wherever we measure it, we're going to get a half. 5 divided by 10. Providing we're putting it on whole number points, 9 divided by 18, etc. Even if we measure it from the other side, 7 divided by 14 also gives us a half. So everywhere along its length, that line has a gradient of a half. Let's now look at another straight line. What's its gradient? Well, we have to look a bit carefully to find whole number crossing points on this one. Well, there's one there, and there's another one there. And we see that if we take the up and divide it by the across, we get 8 divided by 6, which is 4 thirds. Now, 4 thirds is a, a top-heavy fraction, but it is the best number to describe the gradient, 4 thirds. Now, of course, we can work out 4 thirds every time we find whole number points for this graph to go through. Uh, so if we take it down to there, well, it's a bit far, but uh, we're going to still get 16 divided by 12, which is 4 thirds. Here we have another line, but this time it's sloping down towards the right-hand side. So what's its gradient? Well, let's put our uh, triangle onto whole number points and see what happens. Um, those are whole number points there. And instead of up, of course, we're going down. So we've got minus 12 divided by 3. Minus 12 divided by 3 is minus 4. And so we say that gradient is minus 4. It's steep. That's the 4 part of it. 
but the minus tells you that it's going down towards the right and not up. So it's down divided by a cross, minus 12 divided by 4. Let's look at one more uh, gradient now. What's the gradient of this line? Well, once again, we put our triangle, and of course, if you're doing this on paper, you draw this triangle, but you find whole number points. Now, there are two. Let's try again. And we see that this time it's going down 3 and across 8. Now, minus 3 divided by 8 is just simply minus 3 eighths, and that's the best way to describe that gradient as a fraction, minus 3 eighths. In conclusion, we see that straight lines can come in all sorts of gradients, but each time we can calculate those gradients by counting squares across and the squares up or down. Let's just do one final thing. What's the gradient of this line? Well, we see a whole number point there. There seems to be another whole number point there. Six-tenths, or three-fifths, is the gradient of that line.